Hello guys and welcome back to another modding tutorial. This episode will be on creating custom country leaders. To start, I will add vanilla Hearts of Iron 4 as a project folder. So you do add project folder like we did before. And then this is generally the path for your vanilla Hearts of Iron 4. If you have installed it on a different drive or somewhere else, you should probably know where it should be so we're going to select folder and now we have vanilla as a project folder this is easy for copying over code and comparing uh, your mod with vanilla if you have not done this yet make sure your hearts of iron 4 runs in debug mode you do that by right clicking on the hearts of iron 4 clicking properties and then going to set launch options and making sure dash debug is on okay close and play now we can get started to create a country leader we first need a couple folders first off we will need the history folder and within that the countries folder so let's say we want to change Germany's leader so Hitler to say a certain someone in Argentina Hilter so we copy over the file from vanilla the uh, Germany vanilla file and we copy it over to countries so from history slash countries to history slash countries so we are gonna open it and then we need another folder so we're gonna make another folder and we are going to name it localize sorry localization now you can copy any of the localization folders from vanilla let's just say we take abilities L English we're going to copy that, we're going to paste it, and now we have this file. We're going to empty this, and then we are going to rename this file. So let's say we're going to rename it Tutorial Mod L English. So now as you can see, this is called Tutorial Mod L English and now we can uh, get to creating our country leader so as you can see this is the country leader adolf hitler there are a couple things that are required for country leader first off you have the name that speaks for itself second off you have description this is optional I don't think there are any vanilla leaders that use it, but you can use this to localize a description. Third is picture. This is obviously the picture that shows up in game. Fourth is expire. As far as I know, this does not do anything, so setting it to past your start date is fine. Fifth, you have ideology. He's obviously a Nazist. And you can find these ideologies in vanilla in common slash ideologies and then open this file. So you can see if I search for Nazism, it is a sub ideology of fascism. So finally, you have traits. Traits are kind of ideas for leaders. So let's say we instead of him being a dictator let's say we make him exiled and instead of his name being Adolf Hitler we make him Adolf sorry we just make him Hilter now I want to add a, a description for Hilter the way we do that is we take the description here so politics Hilter desk and we copy it over to this localization file we made 
So we paste it over here. Then we do bracket zero. And let's say this is filter. And we are going to save it. Finally, let's say we want his picture instead of being the generic Hitler picture. We want it to be the Hilter picture. Now you can find this picture in the GFX folder in vanilla. But for sake of just showing you how it works, I have looked it up and it is this picture. So it is in the GFX folder under leaders, under Argentina, and then it's this portrait. So if you wanted to change your own portrait, you have to follow this order. So let's say you have a portrait for Bulgaria. This is going to be Bol, and then your portrait name. So let's save it. And then let us launch the game again. Make sure your mod is enabled. Yeah, it is. And let's launch. So this is what debug does. The dash debug command gives you an error log. Now we don't have any errors, so this is empty. But if you make a mistake, it will show over here. For now, that's not important. So let's get into a game. As you can see, it's Hilter. And he's exiled. And when we mouse over it, you can see that it has the description. This is Hilter. So now we have our leader and you can do this for any country you like. You can do this for any ideology you like. And uh, yeah, you should be on your way. So thank you all for watching. And if you would be so kind to leave a like, that would help me a lot. Bye bye.